Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first Qt GUI widget application using Qt Creator. Now, hopefully you have uh, successfully downloaded and installed Qt Creator and Qt SDK on your Windows operating system. And now we are going to create our first Qt uh, widget application, which is going to be a GUI application or graphical user interface application. So open your Qt creator and go to files here and then click new file or project. And in here you have different type of uh, templates to choose with. So the first in the left you can see here is application and here you can uh, create Qt widget application, Qt console application or a Qt Canvas 3D application, which we are going to see in a moment. We are going to create a Qt widget application right now. But let's see other templates. We can create C++ library or Qt creator plugins uh, using uh, Qt creator. Or you can also uh, create some other projects, something like Qt unit test or Qt quick UI or you can even uh, choose this option which is empty QMake project which is also going to make a Qt application. Now if you want to make some uh, non Qt uh, related application something like C or C++ project you can choose uh, this option which is non Qt project and in here you can see by default they have plain C application and plain C++ application. Qt comes with uh, the built-in uh, MinGV compiler. So it's going to, you know, use this MinGV compiler to uh, compile or build your C or C++ applications. Or you can import some uh, other uh, projects from other repositories or other locations, right? So let's create a Qt widget application. So go to application, choose Qt widget application and then click choose here and then give the name to your uh, project. For example, my first Qt, right? And then click next and leave everything as default here. You can see here uh, we are using uh, Qt 5.5 and MinGV compiler, right? And it's going to be a desktop application. So just click next. And now you can see when you create a Qt widget application, it's going to create some uh, classes or one class uh, exactly, which is going to be a main window class. You can change the name of this class, but uh, for now I'm going to leave the name as default, which is main window. And for this class, Qt Creator is going to create two files for us. One is the main window.h or header file and the other is source file which is main window.cpv file. In addition, the Qt Creator will also create a UI file for us which is going to be our designer in which we can design our Qt application. And this is going to be this file, which is main window.ui. So I'm going to leave everything as default, but uh, keep in mind, you can change the name of uh, these classes and the header files. So just click next. And if you are using any uh, kind of version control, like subversion or some other version control, you can choose from here. Right now, I don't have any version control, so I'm going to leave everything as default and then click finish. And it's going to create our project, right? Now, this is our project directly directory on the left and it's going to contain some folders and files. So we are going to go through each and every file. So just click the first top most uh, file, which is my first qt.pro file. And in here, it's like a make file for your project. So in here, you're going to uh, add all the, you know, files which you are going to use in your project or all the libraries which you are going to use in your project. 
so for example we are uh, you know using main.cpp and main window.cpp uh, files as our source file and our header file is main window.h so it's a part of this header and we are using one form file which is main window.ui so it's the form uh, it's the part of the form right our target is may my first qt which is the name of our application and these are some of the core files which qt is going to use to build up our application right so in here you add your uh, you know files and source files and libraries now we go to the header uh, folder and in here is going to contain uh, this main window.header file and the source folder it's going to contain main dot cpp and main window dot cpp and in the form file you have your main window dot ui when you click this main window dot ui it's going to open this kind of uh, design interface in which you can pick and place these widgets in uh, this form and create your design right once again when you click the edit you will go to the you know code behind of uh, this ui uh, designer which is a xml file basically and you can see it's looking like this now the main entry point of any uh, c++ program is the main function right so qt is also based on c++ so uh, it's also going to you know start from the main function so just go to the main.cpp file and in here you can see this uh, main function here now uh, you can uh, you know give the arguments for your application using this argc and argv as you know uh, you can do it with c++ also and the main uh, you know class uh, which is going to start the event loop for you is your qt or q application class right so it's like a main class which is going to start the event loop which is going to listen any event of your application so you just uh, create an object of uh, this uh, q application uh, you know class and it's going to take uh, your argument if you want to pass any argument to your application and then it calls this main window uh, you know class so you can then create an instance of uh, main window and then you can uh, call this uh, object dot uh, show which is going to start your main window which is main window ui and main window class right and this exec is going to start your main event loop uh, which is uh, you know created by your q application instance so let's go to our main window class right so using this we can uh, you know start our main window ui okay so first of all we are going to go to our main window dot header and you can see our class has uh, right now a constructor which has one uh, argument which is a uh, q widget parent and a uh, destructor right so we are going to go to our uh, cpp file and we have one uh, private variable which is ui using this ui instance we can call any widget we are going to pick and place in our ui file okay now when we go to our main window.cpp file in here in the constructor you can uh, see first thing in the constructor it's doing is it's uh, initializing your ui with the new object of main window and then in the constructor it's just calling this uh, function called setup ui which is going to uh, you know basically set up your user interface and when we close our application it's going to call the destructor and it's going to you know delete your ui object so now let's create a hello world uh, you know application and let's see how it works 
so go to this main window dot ui uh, file which is going to uh, you know open this designer and from here once first of all you can see here different kind of widgets according to the category so just pick and place a push button from here which is uh, going to be something like a button when we pro push it is going to perform some action and let's take a label from here so just uh, drag down and in the display widget you can see this label you can just drag and drop here and you can resize it something like this okay now every widget has its own property so when you select this push button and on the left on the right hand side here you can see some properties which you can change right so for example you can see the object name is push button and then you have uh, some more properties something like minimum size or maximum size or font you can even change the font of uh, this text from here or you have tool tip or you have other uh, you know um, properties so for example i want to change the text of this button i can change this uh, text so right now by default it has push button text so i can change it to for example click me and you can see uh, this text is changed on the button right you can change this text also from this button so double click on this button and you can uh, change this text from here also for example click me right and same with the label it has its own properties so you can change these properties from here okay so for example i don't want to uh, show this text label uh, on the label so i am going to go to the property called text and i'm going to delete this uh, text from here so it's blank right now now to perform some action you just need to right click on the button and then go to slot so just select this option which says go to slot and then select the first option which is clicked as the function says it's when you click uh, the button is going to call this function clicked and then it's going to perform the code inside this function so click ok which is going to uh, you know create a new function in your main window.cpp and in here this function is called whenever you press a button or click a button so when we click a button we want to uh, set some text on our label so how you can uh, you know set the text on the label you just call this uh, ui object or instance so just call ui and then call the name of the widget so let's go once again to our main window.ui and select your uh, label here and you can see the name of our label here object name is labels so here you can uh, you know see all the names and uh, you know properties of your uh, widgets so the name of our label is label you can change the name from here so for example label 1 or label 2 but right now i'm going to leave it as default so once again i'm going to go to edit and main window.cpp and we have called ui and then by arrow pointer you just call this uh, label uh, variable name right and then you can call a method called set text so just call a method called set text and whatever argument you pass it takes a one argument basically which is a string and whatever string you write here for example hello world it's going to print this thing on the label right now to compile your application you can just go to build here and you can click build all it's going to build your application so just click it and you just need to uh, save everything so just click save all and is going to build your application you can see on the right bottom this progress bar and when this progress bar shows green then uh, it means that your uh, you know application has been compiled successfully 
and then you can run your application to run your application you need to click this uh, green uh, button here so just click this green button and it's going to run your application so now our uh, widget application is running so when you click this button click me is going to uh, print hello world on your label so this is how basically you can create your first qt gui widget application using qt creator i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now